Stop battle. Thank you. Gonna get Logster versus Ori on oh. my top right there. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be doing a bit of commentating and uh, TOing. I'm gonna Contro side eyeing me from the, the audience. It's gonna be very distracting, obviously. Can't blame me for that. I'm DQing him out of bracket real quick, though, so it won't be a problem. <laughs> All right. Can I get Sock versus Tsunami on set of six, please? All right, but we're keeping the bracket moving along. We got Money Mike actually on the Aegis. Optic does not go Bayo into Royce. Maybe it is like a like a preference thing, like a matchup. But wow, looking for a tech change. Trying to catch up so early with that F smash. And I have to play a little more neutral though, Mike. Recovering. Oh, but he's on Pyra. Pyra definitely gonna be overwhelmed. Hello, Spaghetto Man. Yep. No cloud on the screen. Oh, I did. Oh, you're on six. Oh, it's one. Who's on one? Oh, it's supposed to be Rehab and Gamer. Oh, they must have just finished. No one reported, though. Y'all can play on one. All right, sorry about that, fam. We are back in action here. We're down to the last stock for Money Mike. DMK with a nice little lead here. Money Mike has a ledge trap opportunity. Just kind of swinging, hoping DMK jumps into it. Getting a little bit of a nair, you know, a little nair action. Why does it have a landing hitbox? So crazy. Nice call out, but good DI from DMK to stay alive. Looking for a spike. No two frame happening though. Now we got to play neutral with Roy again, and from center stage, that's not going to take it. A little more rage probably would have taken the stock. Uh, if Mike takes it right here. It's not too bad, but you can definitely, you could definitely uh, die at this percent to Roy. A jab, a jab bear, or of course side B at near the side. F smash, tech chase, so many options. This character has so much straight hit kill power. DMK is uh, from Sova. Very good, Roy. Right now, living at 158, that's going to be a forward throw. No kill throw for uh, Fire Mithra. Yep, going to use the Foresight. That's the 599 coming through right there. Oh, no, but not going to connect with the ledge. Just going to air dodge, and that's going to be too low to come back. So we're going to get uh, game one's going to go to DMK here. Let's see if the counter pick. Uh, I guess that Mike does have a Bayo as well, so I'd be interested to see if he's going to pull that out versus this Roy. 
It looks like it wasn't like a horrible match, a horrible game there. Like, with a couple of a little bit of adaptation could probably I cleaned that up pretty easily. So let's see if he figures it out here. He's gonna stay with the Pyramithra. I think maybe uh, feeling more confident in this counter pick. And obviously, like the momentum was starting to go in his favor a little bit at the end. But GMK, of course, clutching it out before anything too crazy happened. Nice string. Quick 33. Oh, that's a rough spot. Accidentally up being past the ledge. Throwing out a lot of a lot of nares. Just kind of covering his space. And it's gonna be this this stage I feel like is extremely strong for Mithra. One of the best juggling characters in the game, just because even if she whiffs, she usually has time to just hit you again. So you get to like guess wrong and then find your juggle anyway. Um, and the character can get up under you, using the platforms follow you up even higher. And of course the other pair extremely good. And that's paying off for 106%, but Team K finally finding a hit, getting on the board a little bit, but oh, this is a nice lead for Mike, who doesn't really have to commit at all at the moment. Oh, try to shield grab Roy, that is a bad idea. We'll take some swift damage. The Dancing Blade coming out. It's gonna be Jab, oh, waiting on the air dodge in. Team K with a read on these defensive options. Oh, that almost killed, wow. He's gonna chuck it out again, not quite connecting off the stage. Roy sneaking his way back on. He'd love to get to the side and find a little bit of cheese, but that's going to be a nice, I don't know what arrow that was. Uh, Pyro's arrows all look the same, and they all kill. <laughs> all right, we'll dash around and shield. He played a little bit of neutral. Oh, actually connecting with the down air, but can't do much with the pop up. It's going to be a trade with oh, Mitra's up That up sharks so far through the stage. With all these. Ariel's coming out from DMK. He's playing a little bit more kind of aggressive, I think, at this point. Trying to close this gap before too much of a lead is built up by Mike. Oh, no tech, and that's going to be an ill-advised get-up attack. Nice pivot cancel F tilt to take the stock off the side. DMK evening things up. And this would be an upset for sure. Uh, Mike got third last week and uh, just won the cut recently as well so kind of on a, a little bit of a momentum a little bit of an upswing but of course Roy always a scary character to fight DMK from a very strong region that means he's going to be used to playing close games and used to that pressure see a lot of that option for Mike as well down tilt into neutral B uh, for Mithra the lightning buster is going to has a wind box on it so it kind of pulls you in and of course covers air dodge uh, also, kind of reading a little bit of DMK's defensive options. Oh, that's spark shot. Oh, this is scary. You're off stage as Mithra, but nice job. Just going to get up as F smash. Yep, that's going to be a true punish on the side B and a clean stock for Mike. Very good lead at present. If he doesn't get gimped or something, he could probably just whiff punish the rest of the game and push us to a game three scenario. But that's going to be a tech chase. Oh, good get up attack. Actually, reaching in that spot, I didn't think it would. Down tilt and they're gonna catch this. There's no jump on Roy, but not opting to not go out there. If he'd gone out there with like a forward air real quick or something, that would, that would have been game. But now you gotta fight Roy at the ledge and you're gonna actually get the reversal. Nice. And Mike doing a really good job of rinsing and repeating at the ledge. This character is so broken at the ledge. No lag, just covers a ton of space. You've gotta just chuck out moves and hope they hit. Um, and a lot of times when they do, uh, Mike is ready for the conversion. Gonna hit the landing there on the pair there. Oh no! Gets back air. This is scary. Got a side B high. Oh, down air. Oh, down tilt. That's the sweet spot, so it's gonna put him off stage. He might get back. Yep, gonna roll there. Hasn't rolled yet, so you know, good mix-ups at the ledge so far. Mike's defensive options have been pretty good, uh, and that's gonna be a, a uh, another pirate. I think it was, a, I think it was a back here. Might have been a down here. I, I don't know. Big kill. So that's gonna be a two stock for Mike, and we're going game number three. Uh, so the key there was getting the lead and just never giving it up. As soon as Mike got the lead, he could just whiff, focus on whiff punishing. Doesn't have to take any risk into Roy. Roy's jumping in on you a lot, and of course, that Mithra and Nair just gonna eat up a lot of moves. It's so good. Game three with D. 
DMK. Money Mike, DMK. Both of them playing very evenly matched so far. It's a uh, best of three, uh, Spikito, man. Nice, gets the Nair. 23%, not, nothing to write home about, really. Uh, both of them just kind of poking at each other, trying to find that first meaningful hit. Ooh, gonna get spot dodged, but DMK not ready for the turnaround grab. Nice, oh, that's such a scary scenario. Uh, Money Mike's been missing a decent amount of techs. Uh, and against Roy, that's not something you want. It gives him the opportunity to find a read at the ledge and take your stock so early. But in that scenario, he's going to get out pretty much, uns not unscathed, but just taking the percent, holding onto his life. But DMK going so deep for that fair. And I thought I thought he was going to make it back, but the up B snap in the ledge. This is a very good lead. So let's see if Mike can play this scenario. This is kind of what happened for him in the last game where he took the first stock very early and was able to just kind of slowly uh, bleed DMK out. Yep, still going to catch that air dodge. DMK has been buffering air dodge in that situation a good bit. Flame Nova. If that hits on both sides, it can break your shield. That finds the blazing in. Let's trap scenario. He's on Pyra. He wants the stock. It's a little scary, I think, to be Pyra, especially on a stage this small. That misses. Good call out. DMK keeps jumping out of the corner, and Mike is so ready for that. Going to find the back air. So we're in a fairly even scenario, but that was a great uh, great little conversion to put Mike off stage. And at 66%, Jab Bear not going to kill, but this is a really bad spot. He has it. Oh, no, misses the turnaround. 108% from on Pyra again. Oh, he could have up aired there. Oh, did that catch the jump? It did. Oh, it caught the jump barely. Money Mike down a full stock. This is his winter side life on the line. And DMK playing very patient now, not wanting to get cheesed in any way. He's going to hold on to his. Oh, taking a little bit of risk there with the jump in side B, but he's got the percent to deal with it. You're probably not going to get gimped. Pyra Mithra, a character that doesn't. I mean, can go off stage for sure, but doesn't often. A lot of the, the a lot of Pyramid players will opt to play more safe ledge trap because the ledge trapping is broken. It's easy to be reversal as this character as well, and once you're out of your double jump, in most cases, you are just dead. All right now, he's playing very patient. Gonna get find the grab though. Mithra, one of the best dash grabs in the game. Okay, so jump up side B. Every percent. It's so meaningful at this point. If Mike can take the stock now, it's not too bad, but now it's that much worse. Once you reach that 60-ish percent, you can definitely just lose your life to Roy, especially on this case. I'm surprised we're on Smash. I'm surprised he didn't end this. I, I wonder what his pants were. Oh, the up tilt actually killing off of the bounce. It's going to be a last stock scenario. Game three, whoever wins, staying alive in winners. And obviously, you know, both players will have the opportunity to make a run in losers, but neither wants to go down there with all the sharks. Nice there for DMK, or, or getting there. Mike closing this gap, only down 30% where he was down so far before. The juggle's coming out from the Mithra. I like that he's staying Mithra, opting to ledge trap. Oh, not punishing that spot dodge in his face. He's landing so many down tilts because it's very quick. Oh, I thought he SD'd. Cool. Wow, how did I miss? That's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, it's very scary. Every time you're at ledge versus Roy at this percent, you could just die. Yep, gonna get the grab. Great option from DMK. Oh, the Nair not quite taking it. Switching to Pyra. Barely not getting punished. That's it, right? Yep, jab fair. Wow, what a set. That's gonna be DMK upsetting money. Mike moving on in winner's side. So good stuff to him. Uh, but Mike's uh, age is getting better and better, of course. Yeah, just opting to. Try that character out in that spot. Two, uh, two, one, yeah. DMK one. <laughs>